let's jump into our daily huddle and turn our attention to the huddle board. Let's begin our 24 hour look back. Does anyone have any success stories from yesterday? Um, yes, well actually yesterday I was able to fill four of our open slots on the same day access points. That's great, anybody else? Yeah, so actually I have a pretty good success story. So one of our frequent flyers who comes every week for his appointment, um, he typically leaves like an hour after checking out. I always wondered why. So last week I asked him, but it turns out he takes like a car service, and for some reason they just weren't coming earlier. So I ended up calling the car service, so there was just some kind of misunderstanding. They thought he was always done at 12, but he's always done at 11. So I corrected them for them, and I was like, no, he's always done at 11, we will get him out. Um, and today, for the first time, or yesterday for the first time ever, he left after 10 minutes. Wow, that's amazing. Anybody else? Um, as part of my routine review of the medication for yesterday, I found an extra box of flu vaccines that we didn't know we had. All right, thanks everyone for sharing. In terms of practice operations yesterday, we had a total of 45 patients. That's five more than we typically average on this day of the week. In terms of operations, front desk staff raised an issue about challenges and updating patient demographics in Epic. Um, once I was made aware of the issue, I contacted IT and they resolved it by restarting all of the front desk computers. So I'll move this from in progress to complete. Uh, we also have an EKG machine down and the tentative date it'll be fixed is Friday, February 7th. Um, and just please note that the second floor has provided a loaner machine in the meantime. Um, are there any other unresolved issues or concerns? Um, the last few days I've been unable to log into Pareto, so if anybody can help me out with that, that'd be great. Yeah, I can help you out with that. Let's talk offline after the huddle. Thank you. Yep. So moving to yesterday's performance, let's review our patient satisfaction scores. Yesterday on key reviews, we had a total of six responses with three comments, and our average score for the day was a 4.8. Um, I'll complete service recovery for patients that scored below a three and follow up with any staff as needed. We had two comments about long wait times and one positive comment about an experience at the front desk, so that was really great. Okay, let's move on to today's outlook. Today we have two providers scheduled, Dr. Page and Dr. Wright, um, and both providers are scheduled to finish with all their patients by five. We have no sick calls today, but Lauren is scheduled for PTO today and tomorrow. Room assignments are listed on the board, and George, just note that you're covering for Lauren today and assisting Dr. Wright. And yeah, the full schedule is on the board. Front desk. Um, so today we have 52 confirmed appointments. So far, zero cancellations. I have three patients I'm doing insurance verification on um, that are needed today. I'll finish that definitely by this afternoon. Um, and I know that there's an opening on Dr. Wright's schedule at 1 p.m., so I'm going to try to fill this with the same day slot, and I'll let you know, George, about that. And that's it for the front desk. Uh, so from our end, uh, for today we're expecting about 27 patients, of which 18 should be follow-ups, and the remaining 9 are new. Uh, we know that Mr. Jones is coming in at around 11, however he usually runs over schedule, so uh, George, I'll remind you of that this afternoon if you don't mind, uh, so you can cover for me at the 11.30 lunch. Uh, and then finally, one patient is probably going to need vaccination, if that's the case, Hillary will reach out to you uh, if you don't mind. Great. That's it for Thanks, Dr. Wright has 25 scheduled patients, 15 of them are follow-up and 10 of them are going to be new. Um, Miss Michelle is scheduled at 10 a.m. She usually comes late or, or cancels, so I usually know if she cancels right away, sure. so I don't set up the room for her. And we don't have or expect any sort of special cases or, or visits today. Great. Thanks, George. In terms of special cases, I am expecting someone coming in this afternoon for travel vaccinations. Um, but other than that, I'm planning to restock all of the rooms today with supplies, so if there's anything that's up, just let me know. Okay, so great, thank you. In terms of operational challenges for today, let's start with supply issues. Uh, so room one is actually, speaking of supply issues, is missing gauze. So, Hillary, if you don't mind, if you could get some from the restock room. Yeah, definitely. I'll make sure to restock that and then update our supply Excel sheet. Thank you. Great. Any equipment issues? Um, as you mentioned earlier, the EKG machine is down, so if anybody needs any help with the loaner machine, just let me know. Okay. Any facility issues? Yeah, so there actually I was probably in the rooms this morning. I noticed there was a chair ripped and exam room too. I took it out of the exam room, which was not my commission compliant, and I left everyone know by putting on the post-it on the board. Oh yeah, thanks for bringing that up and posting on the board. Um, are there any other supply equipment or facilities issues? What about IT? So I'm actually experiencing an IT issue for printer number 
to the front desk, the one that keeps jamming is actually jamming again. Um, I didn't have a chance to write it up on the huddle block though before today's huddle. Okay, thank you. I can add it right now. Thank you. Okay, thanks everyone. Let's review our team priorities, starting with our key performance metric of copay collections. Our goal for copay collections is 90%, but for the past week, we've been consistently in the 80% range, um, as you can see here on the run chart. Let's try to dig a little deeper into what the barriers are that keep us from achieving this our 90% goal. Does anyone have any ideas? Yeah, you know, I think um, in the registration process, when I ask for the copay collection at the beginning of the process, um, I see that the collection is usually higher than if I were to wait at the end of the process, so that might be contributing to the copay performance. Interesting. Great suggestion. Any other thoughts? No. Okay. Let's move on to today's service excellence tip of the day. Every touch point is an opportunity to deliver exceptional service. Does anyone have any suggestions of how we can exhibit this service standard? So I think like for exceptional service from the front desk perspective, um, instead of calling people back up to the desk to pick up their like ID card and insurance card, I can walk it back over to them you know, when I'm done with my stuff. I think patients would really appreciate that. It's a great idea. Anybody else? Yeah, there's something I tend to do is I try to tell a joke while I'm drawing blood. It really puts them at ease and a little calmer while I'm doing it so they don't get so freaked out by the needle in their arm. Yeah, great idea everyone. Uh, moving on to general announcements, please note that the lobby is under construction until next week. Also, our holiday party is going to be on January 31st, so please RSVP if you haven't already. That's it for announcements. Um, for staff recognition, great catch um, by Hillary. Um, she caught a mislabeled specimen when she was in the lab and addressed the issue before it was sent out. So thanks, Hillary, for that. Good sure. job. Um, also, today is Jumon's birthday. So happy birthday, Jumon. Thank you. <laughs> and Swathi is coming up on her 10 year work anniversary this year. Wow. Oh, this week. Congratulations. Thanks, so, so you guys. All right, everyone, that's like the end of our huddle. Come to a close. Thank you all for your participation and hard work, and have a safe rest of the day. Jumon, I will help you look into that current health issue, and Swathi, I'll let you know when I follow up with the uh, printer. Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs>